We're going. All right. Welcome to my garden. <laughs> what, what's around you? Front We just we finally got the space where we could all come together and work on this record together. And I think set it up and had it for about a week, and then uh, and then it was full lockdown. When we first got in there, there was like a little patch of, of dubious looking um, material on the floor, and it looked like all fibrous. And Gum thought it was asbestos, or it could be asbestos. Um, so he got in a specialist tester. We hired the room, got like an asbestos specialist to come take a little swab of the asbestos, like a fucking like a like a COVID test or something, just of the of the of the dust. Um, then she like. Double zip locked bag that I've sent it off to the East Coast and got it tested for asbestos and uh, came back negative. And then uh, call it dream dust. Because it's. I don't know, if you dream dust, that's the dream dust. The longest we've spent ever, I think, on an, on an album. Yeah. And it, the whole time you're doing it, you think it's really awesome. And then once you finish it, you're like, wait, were we supposed to finish it? And because we started with like random jams, like improvised jams, so we sort of. Instead of everyone that had This was like really like, you know, do a bit of work and then sort of sit on it and see how it's coming together for a few weeks and then go back in and do some more. So it was, yeah, very, very uh, comfortable and easy. It's just so good having all the members of Pond being so uh, musical and able to speak their mind and it, there was never any ego in it at all. Built a bit more organically and all that. Really nice. The way we wrote it is the same, almost the same as mixing it. It's like just drawn out. It was like people would put down an idea that was um, could be almost nothing, and then you slowly build the song around that. And as you build the song around that, you're mixing it. Like when you came in and we were writing this parts of the song, um, but. In our heads, we're sort of pretty much just like finishing off the mix, but mm -hmm. I like like it's, it's it's the same thing, which is which is more like how we all make our solo albums and stuff. Yeah. Whereas Pond used to be, we'd like have, we'd like write a bunch of songs at our share house on yeah. acoustic guitars and learn them, teach yeah. them to each other, and then go record them sort of thing.
Well, this one was done in like a few different ways. One was um, just like freeform jamming. We would do a broad studio onto the tape and then like just for half an hour until it ran out and we'd flip it half an hour and then bounce it off. And then we'd sift through just the rubbish and find like um, loops that were cool. And then from that cut it down sort of can esque can uh, the German band has uh, a couple of albums where they just like take bits and bobs from um, their sort of raw jams and make you know, songs out of them. America's Cup is from that. This is a very new song called the, the America's Cup. songs that people wrote like gold cups joe's chords and nick wrote the melodies over you know so it's like that's more like traditional songwriting songs but it's a real mix of stuff process last year for a while of like waking up real early before Tiger or whatever and um, going to a little desk and like and writing. So I was writing poems every morning about like fig season which it almost is right on the edge and like my, my, my kung fu slippers which is gold cup. I was just sort of more writing about little things and then like people that I yeah. Um, but yeah, I was waking up and just writing like, poems and stuff. Which, uh, is new. <laughs>
because they were like, uh, you know, in, what is it, a few days, like, these restrictions can be in place. I was like, you know, immediately like, oh my god, this is the time to like, do all the song and experiment ideas. This is it. And then like, got so um, inspired and just like, experimented. Lockdown for me was like a time to, you know, get my head around the 505 again and like, you know, get it a bit. Not <laughs> Did a lot of running. A lot of swimming. I learnt to swim in the winter. Except for me. <laughs> really. uh, I'm trying to remember, you know Steve Stevens? The guy who did the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy <laughs> Idol's guitar. Right? Yeah. yeah, and this, he's Rody, his own Rody. And I was like, sorry, hey Barbie, I'm just set up behind you. He's like, my name's not Barbie. I'm like, sorry, I call everyone Barbie. And he's like, you're not calling me Barbie. And I was like, well, you didn't offer me a solution. And I was like, <laughs> alright, Barbie, fucking, I don't care anymore. Yeah. You know, it's just nice for variety. Variety's sake. But yeah, you want you kind of you kind of want each record to like put it on. It's it's like crazily different, mm -hmm. almost. Kevin has a wonderful ear, um, but so does Jay and uh, and uh, James. They both have amazing ears. All three of those guys have incredible um, pop sensibility. Uh, you like knowledge of plugins and where how to balance a mix and how things come in and out and you know so it's interesting you know it's not like first chorus first chorus it's like first chorus and then something gets introduced something else gets introduced you know it's just like it's kind of it's a, a mix that sounds like it's moving a bit you know I think um, I think that's a big part of it, sounding more personal as well. Um, you know, Jay and Jin did all the mixing, and they um, just I don't know, they kind of blew my mind with how how cool they made it sound. We like made it real, like tight and succinct and like pop, mm. which is the ultimate aim really, is having it like real crazy sounding but also like um, anyone can listen to the music and, and like, enjoy it without having to love like mm. free jazz or noise or you know what I mean like that's like the best that's my favorite sort of music yeah. it's a like, really tight compact I mean every album seems to jump around a lot but this one definitely delves into some territory we've never been but it all um, it all feels very like, comfortably bond. It was a con production. Which is fucking fun. Popped in these French panties uh, yesterday. Those three. Got the pink one that I very, very coolly robbed from someone's uh, garden. And these guys. Alright, big pumpkin going down there. 
Have you had any pumpkins from your tree plant? No, no. We tried last year and it basically just went out like over the footpath, yeah, almost onto the road. 